All right, so let me see if there's anything else I want to touch on for today. Um, I told you about these. Um, they, they, you know what, don't worry about it. Well, let me, um, let me make this larger. Can you guys see the PowerPoint? I want to make sure I've got it up here. I don't see anything right now. Oh. Huh. Oh yeah. My fault. All right. I can see it now. <clears throat> this is kind of showing this is like another way to sum, summarize how the blood flows through the heart. So <clears throat> here, here we are at the lungs, right? And, and deoxygenated blood goes into the lungs and oxygenated blood comes out of the lungs. I guess that's a good way to understand it. And then that blood is going to go back into the left side of the heart. So through the pulmonary veins into the left atrium. And then we just follow it through left atrium through the mitral valve. They're calling it bicuspid here. Fine. Mitral valve, left ventricle, out the aortic valve. And then that thing that loops up, that's the aorta. And that's going to all the arteries and capillaries in your body. And that's what that's showing you down here. For right now, forget about this. All the veins are all coming back into either the inferior or superior vena cava. That's all both emptying into your right atrium. So you see it's like a circular thing. There's actually three types of circulation. I'm going to write on the board again. Okay, so there's actually three types of circulation. The first one, this is pretty easy, it's pulmonary. That is when the, when the blood leaves the heart, so going from the heart to the lungs, back to the heart. So that's, that's easy. Pulmonary circulation is from um, the, pulmonary circulation is from the lungs to the heart. Uh, it's, it's this. When the blood leaves the heart, through the pulmonary arteries, goes to the lungs, and then comes back to the pulmonary veins. That's a circulation. Right? So it's heart through the pulmonary arteries, and then back to the heart through the pulmonary veins. So that's one cycle that is made. So pulmonary circulation. We also have systemic, you know, when the blood goes to the whole body and back. So there's systemic circulation. And that's going from the heart to tissues or cells or tissues, but I mean cells, and then back to the heart. That's systemic. So when blood leaves, when blood leaves the heart, it is going through the aorta. And 
And when it comes back into the heart again, it is going through the, I'm probably gonna have to move my computer. It's going through one of the two vena cava. So you have pulmonary circulation, you have systemic circulation. The blood's going to the lungs to get oxygenated. Blood's also going to the whole body where it will become deoxygenated. And there's one more type of circulation, and it is called coronary. Which I'm going to jump back on and explain to you on the PowerPoint. In coronary circulation, the heart feeds itself. Because the myocardium, the myocardium needs its own oxygen supply. And this is probably the last thing I'm going to talk to you about today. Could you shift the computer just, I mean, the screen just a little bit there? There we go. So coronary circulation is the heart has to give itself oxygen as well because the myocardium, that's muscle, just like any, just like muscle in your legs. Muscles in your legs need oxygen and they produce carbon dioxide. Same thing with your heart. <clears throat> it's also an organ that needs that. But there's a, there's a process by w which the heart does that. So that's what I want to show you on the slide. So you see all these, all these, uh, arteries these are all called coronary arteries and i'm not going to make you learn each of them although you really should but i'm not but there are two important ones look right up here ah, at my pointer right there that's this one if you follow this down so that's the right coronary artery and then look up here left coronary artery so what's happening is that, like you see this aorta right so blood's moving through the aortic valve and it's going into the aorta Th these two vessels are tapping off of it like this blood's headed everywhere else in the body these two left and right coronary arteries are tapping off of this aorta and getting blood for the heart so all this blood here is coming in and feeding the heart, the myocardium itself. This is where heart attacks happen. You know, you think of a heart attack or a blockage. It's not here. It's not like this vessel or this vessel got a clot. That's not going to happen. Little ones. It's going to get in here somewhere. This is when plaque builds in here. That's what sucks. And kind of depending on, you know, if you had plaque build up, let's say like. Um, right here, you know, well, that would, that sucks, you know, maybe you'll be okay. Maybe you'll live through that. If you get it here, or if you get it right there, let's say you get it here. This is like the worst place, in my opinion, to get it. Let's say you get a block here. Now you've blocked this coronary artery. Look, you've blocked everything. You've blocked the you block the left side of the heart. You block the muscle. It can't get oxygen now. So you're killing the muscle that operates the left side of the heart. You're screwed. Right? They call that one the widow maker. Um, but, you know, it just depends on where the blockage is. But, but that's where these things happen. So anyway, this is the heart feeding itself. Coronary arteries. And then next to it, 
It's like if we look at the heart, well, you can't even really, really see it. You can't see the coronary veins, but there's there's coronary veins on the heart too, next to them. So here's all the coronary veins, and they're all bringing the deoxygenated blood back to the right atrium. So if you follow all this around, there's like, like let's say right here, we follow this, it's going to loop behind the heart, and now it's going to like kind of come inside the heart. And there's this thing called the coronary sinus. It's a little hole that's inside the um, it's inside the right atrium. So that's coronary circulation, right? There's coronary arteries, there's coronary veins. That's that's what a real heart looks like. You know, you can't make out the colors. All right. But that's all I want to do today. But but what I want from you, from all y'all, is I want you to be able to have an understanding of the heart before I move into physiology. Because I'm jumping right into physiology on Wednesday. Um, and I, you know, I want you to I want you to know how blood flows through the heart, and I want you to know about the four chambers and the four valves and you know, where's blood coming from? So if I were to say left atrium, you know, you should know where the blood was before that. Like, where did it come from? And what was the vessel? What was the blood vessel that goes into the left atrium? So you should be able to say pulmonary veins. That's oxygenated blood from the lungs. All right, so um, I want you to have a good idea of that. Um, quiz, I guess I could, I wanted to put heart because I put some videos on there. Like I put an introduction video. I don't mind making it on just blood. If you want, I've got enough questions. I think I've got a question on. I'm going to open my chat here. Okay, wake up, everyone. I'm talking about the test. I'm listening. All right. What happens to red blood cells when they die? I want you to know how long they live, where are they made, what happens to the parts, you know, the iron part. Explain it. Explain what happens to the iron, what happens to the pigment. That was like a lot of words that you had to learn, that you do have to learn and spell. You know, what happens to the globin? Um... The white blood cells. So the five white blood cells. What 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 would a different elevated one mean? Leukopenia, leukocytosis. Um, platelet plugs and clotting. Platelet plugs, when you talk about platelet plugs, make sure you discuss the chemicals, ADH, thromboxane A2, serotonin. What roles do they contribute in forming a platelet plug? Just explain it in your words, like, you know, the, something about how the platelets are going to um, change their behavior and make like a different shape that grabs onto other platelets. You know, they become sticky. I don't care about platelet release reaction or whatever I had on that slide. Just explain it and then talk about clots. So for clots, you had two different conversions. You had, we started with prothrombinase. So prothrombinase converts prothrombin to thrombin, 
thrombin turns around, converts fibrinogen to fibrin. And fibrin is what makes the clot. I have a video on it already up there, so I'm not going to type it out. But that's a third question. What's hemolytic disease of the newborn? Like, like a narrative, like write it out. Like, what is it? Explain to me what it is. Don't just draw negative positive with a picture of a baby or something. Like, tell me, write it out what it is so I could like read about it. Um, well, that's only four. Which is really why I wanted to add in the heart stuff. I need a fifth question. I need a fifth question. Let me think. <clears throat> I don't know. Wasting a lot you can of always stuff. ask the blood tag. Yeah, something on blood type. I was going to wrap that into the hemolytic disease of the newborn question, but whatever, it's the same thing. Yeah. That... Here. Wow. You actually know the questions, too. This is a chance for some of you to turn things around. You're not some of you. I'm talking to some of you here. I'm not talking to most of you. Some of you are definitely not studying. You're not. And if you say I am, that means you're cramming studying. You're not studying every day. I know you have lives. That's what you're saying. You're saying, but I've got lives. I've got like, I've got kids. I've got a job. I've got these other classes. I know. You got to do it. You got to find time. It's not easy. Um, study. Study, 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 study. You see me watching your ass the whole class, so you like you don't have an opportunity to cheat. Study it and learn it. So study every day. Not a lot. It doesn't have to be forever. Go get in. Liz's study group. She was even dumb enough to give you her phone number. Use her. Don't call her and be like, oh, what's your answer to this? Go make a study group. Go join her study group. Don't be lazy. Oh, tell me this one. She doesn't know. Go make a study group. You guys will do awesome if you do. Especially when you could just jump on whatever app you're using. And do that. When you say blood types, do you want us to know like the um, like A B like that or? Yeah, like I'll probably ask you what the universal donor is. What's the universal recipient? I mean, I don't really know how I can ask. That'll be a really easy. You'll be able to answer that with like just a couple words. You know? Okay, I didn't know if you wanted that or the two different types of blood. I only put it in because I couldn't think of a fifth thing, and you. Gave me a good idea, so I was like, oh, just universal donor, universal recipient. I just wanted to make it five. That coffee sucked. All right. I think we're done. I'm going heavy into the heart physiology on Wednesday, so make sure you know that other stuff. I know you have a test. That's what I mean. You got to, like, keep on it. Yes. For the um, high levels part, what what do you want us to know, like how to, um, I guess, identify the levels of the blood count? Yeah, like I had written some stuff out there, like like a high level of neutrophils, that would mean bacterial, possible bacterial infection. If it's high leukocytes, that would mean, I'm sorry, not leuco, lymphocytes. Don't make that mistake. If it's a high lymphocyte, that would be viral infection. 
hyacinophils parasites. Like I had written, like it's on one of those videos and it's all written on that slide right above the, in, I have it written in black, like what a high level will indicate. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Are you going to fix the um, links on the Canvas site? Because like two of them don't work. Yeah, now that you reminded me. Yeah. Which one? Which one's the, the blood ones weren't working, right? The quiz two? Was it that they weren't working or is it that I didn't hyperlink them? Like it, the link's there, but you click on it and nothing happens? Yes, so the links are there. You click on them, nothing happened. But when you copy the link and paste it, nothing pops up. Ah, okay. Yeah, I'll go in there and uh, make sure it's it's good. I'll, I'll do that now before I leave the room. All right, guys, I'm done. If you don't have any other questions, I'm going to stop presenting. Am I even recording? Stop recording.